This video contains advanced concepts that were discussed in previous videos. If you're new to Bitcoin, we suggest watching the previous videos before this one. In order for a miner to actually enter his block of transactions into the blockchain, he will have to provide an answer or a proof to a specific challenge. This proof is difficult to produce, but is very easily validated. This is known as proof of work. For example, guessing a combination to a lock is a proof to a challenge. It's very hard to produce this since you'll need to guess many different combinations, but once produced, it's easy to validate. Just enter the combination and see if the lock opens. Bitcoin uses the proof of work concept in order to make sure that the network isn't easily manipulated by making mining, the process of inserting blocks into the blockchain, require great computing power. But proof of work concept has some downsides as well. First, a lot of computing power and electricity are wasted just for the sake of generating random guesses. Second, if proof of work continues, we may run into the tragedy of the commons scenario. Let me explain. In the future, once no more mining bounties will be given, miners will gain only transaction fees. Since including transactions is pretty inexpensive for miners, they will accept any fee, which will gradually cause people to pay less fees and miners to earn less money. In time, Fewer miners will mine bitcoins, the network difficulty will decrease, and the bitcoin network will be more susceptible to 51% attacks. One alternative suggested to the proof of work concept is the proof of stake concept. Rather than requiring a proof to a challenge, a proof of stake system requires to show ownership of a certain amount of money, meaning the more bitcoins you own, the more mining power you have. This eliminates the need for expensive mining rigs as calculations are pretty simple to prove you own a certain percentage of the total amount of bitcoins available. Just imagine that mining rigs have been replaced by coins, and if you own 1% of the total amount of bitcoin available, you can mine 1% of the transactions. This method forces miners to have a stake in the bitcoin network, and hopefully will defer people from abusing their mining power. Today, bitcoin is yet to implement this proof of stake concept, but other altcoins like PureCoin have already implemented some kind of version of it. For more information, visit 99Bitcoins, all the information you need to get started with Bitcoin today.